Hello my dear students I welcome you all to today's English class Dear students let us begin our class with an interesting story Many years ago in the Olympics a rowing competition was going on one athlete was leading he was in front of others and he was rowing very fast suddenly he saw a duck and its ducklings swimming across the water and his opponents were coming closer but do you know what he did he stopped rowing he stopped his boat and waited till the duck and his family crossed over the water then he restarted his rowing his opponents were already in front of him but he went on to win the race dear students this is the story of a great athlete and his athleticism he risked his medal to save the life of the duck and its ducklings to become an athlete we need to have some great qualities do you know what are they they are first one is self confidence you need to believe in yourself at first secondly you need to have positive mindset you need to be positive in your attitude you have to believe that yes you can be successful whatever may be the situation third point is you have to keep calm under stress keep calm under stress whatever may be the problem but you have to remain calm and you have to overcome it and one important thing humanity we all need to have humanity in us winning is not important participation is important isn't it so these are the great qualities of an athlete and today we are going to discuss a story of this great athlete dear students today's topic is the olympic champion and the ducks This is a follow up lesson of the Olympic games. Now students we will have a discussion of the text. Bobby Pierce was born in Sydney in Australia. So the story is about Bobby Pierce and where was he born? In Sydney. in australia his father was a great sculling champion sculling champion okay where the participants use two oars of a rowing competition his father was a great sculling champion father of bobby pierce when bobby was 5 means at the age of 5 He was rowing around Sydney harbor in a small boat from a small age from the age of 5 he has already learned rowing and he was moving around in a small boat in Sydney harbor harbor a place where ships are kept students 
we have two new words sculling and harbor here let us discuss these new words sculling means a single man boat racing competition where one man uses two oars on both sides students sculling is a part of rowing in sculling the athletes use two oars as you can see here these two oars okay and it is used on both sides whereas in rowing one participant uses only one oar in rowing one oar is used whereas in sculling two oars are used there is another word harbor as we know harbor means where ships are kept harbor means a place in the coast where ships are tied and sheltered as you can see here in this picture the ships are tied why for their safety because of the waves coming up and down it may damage the ships that's why they are tied and sheltered sheltered here means kept safe the ships are kept safe in a particular place of a port and that is called harbor now let's continue with our text a little later he won his first race here he refers to bobby pierce he won his first race competing against 14 year olds from a small age only he started competing with boys of more than his age 14 year olds one of the judges asked him how old are you bobby one of the judges asked about his age and he replied he replied proudly six sir he replied six means from the age of six he started competing against 14 year old boys and also won he went on to win the competition students we completed paragraph 1 and now let's discuss some comprehension questions we have the paragraph here question number 1 where was bobby pierce born bobby pierce was born in sydney in australia bobby pierce was born in sydney in australia okay question number 2 what was his father his father was a great sculling champion his father was a great sculling champion his father was a sculling champion a great sculling champion question number 3 what do you mean by sculling okay as we have already discussed sculling is a single man boat racing competition where the participant uses two oars right a sculling is a single man boating competition
where one man uses two oars on both sides okay let us continue question number 4 at what age did he start rowing boats when bobby was 5 he was rowing around sydney harbor so from the age of 5 at what age at the age of 5 at the age of 5 he started rowing boats next question how old was he when he won the first race how old was he he won his first race competing against 14 year olds and when the judges asked him he replied proudly 6 so from the age of 6 at the age of 6 he won the first race who asked about his age who asked one of the judges asked him how old are you bobby so one of the judges one of the judges asked about his age now let's continue with the text by the time he was 20 bobby was the sculling champion of australia when he was 20 by the time he was 20 years old bobby bobby pierce he was already the sculling champion of australia can you believe from such a young age of 20 he was already the sculling champion of his country he was the sculling champion of australia the following year 1928 he went to amsterdam to compete in the olympic games the following year means the next year when he became the sculling champion of australia the next year in 1928 he went to amsterdam amsterdam is the place where the 1928 Olympics was held it was a place in Netherland he went to compete in the Olympic games so in 1928 he was selected to participate in the Olympic games In the finals he competed against Ken Myers of America in the finals in the finals of the sculling competition he competed against Ken Myers okay of America Ken Myers was from America and here he means Bobby Pierce he competed against Ken Myers from the start of the race bobby was in the lead from the start of the race means from the beginning of the race bobby was in the lead lead means front position he 
here lead means in the front position in front of others at the halfway stage he was still leading and very much ahead of myers at the halfway stage at the halfway of the race he means bobby pierce was still leading and he was very much ahead of myers ahead means in front of myers from a long distance it seemed that bobby would easily win it seemed everyone thought the spectators everyone thought that bobby would easily win the competition dear students now we will discuss the comprehension question answers of paragraph 2 we have a part of the paragraph here now let's read the questions and try to answer them at what age did bobby become the sculling champion of australia by the time he was 20 bobby was the sculling champion of australia so at what age at the age of 20 at the age of 20 bobby became the sculling champion of australia next question in which year did he start to compete in the olympics in which year the following year 1928 he went to amsterdam to compete in the olympic games so in the year 1928 in the year 1928 he started to compete in the olympics question number 3 who did he compete against in the finals in the finals he competed against ken myers of america so he competed against ken myers of america ken myers of america so in the finals he competed against ken myers of america Question number 4 who was in the lead from the start of the race bobby was in the lead so from the starting bobby pierce bobby pierce was in the lead the students in today's class we at first listen to a motivational story then we read and knew some difficult words and also we completed comprehension of paragraph 1 and 2 of the olympic champion and the ducks So this is all for today's class thank you students bye bye